friends, I have a huge box of things to show you along with some other things that I picked up in November. Let's just get right on into my November book haul. And just a disclaimer, this book haul is sponsored by Book Outlet. First, I just have something that I need to tell you all. YA author Krista Desir is asking people to send donations of YA paperback books so that she can donate them to girls at a juvenile detention center in Cook County. So if you have any paperback books that you're looking to get rid of or you need to unhaul or just some arcs like I had that you just need somewhere to put them, she's accepting donations. So if you go to her Twitter, which I will link down below, and DM her, she'll give you all the information you need. I sent around 10 paperback books and the cost was only about $7. It really benefits them. She lives in the U.S., so if you're in the U.S. as well, it shouldn't be that expensive to ship. It's for a really great cause for the holiday season, and I think you all should go and support that if you can. So I was just letting you know that bit of information, and now let's get into the video. First, I'm going to mention some books that I got at Goodwill. I didn't expect I would find anything, but I found three books, and I'm pretty stoked about that. The first one is The Night Trilogy by Ellie Weasel. This is about a man who was in the Holocaust. The first book in this trilogy is really well known, but not a lot of people know that he has two other books, and so this is just a bind-up of them. I've already read the first one. I really hope that I can read the next two ones soon, because they just sound really interesting. I just hope that this gets me thinking, and I hope it's interesting and good. I liked the first one, so that shouldn't really be that hard to fulfill. The next book I got is Confessions of a Shopaholic by Sophie Kinsella. Sophie Kinsella is someone who has a ton of hype on booktube. I just hear everyone saying oh, she has all these great books and she's funny and her writing's great and this is her most popular series. I have no clue what it's about, but I think it's gonna be good and funny and hopefully I can read it soon. And the last book that I got, I was so shocked they had there. I've been looking for this forever. I was hoping I'd find it in hardback somewhere, but totally fine with this. It was a dollar and I can't believe I found it. That is The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan. I just finished the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series this year and I wasn't the hugest fan. I just think if I would have read it as a child I would have enjoyed it a lot more. So I wanted to read this series because they're older. Maybe I'll like it more. I do like the world so hopefully this is just gonna fit my reading mood better. I know this one is about Jason and Piper and Leo and like all these names that I've seen on Tumblr that I haven't actually read so I just hope that I can get acquainted with these new characters and I hope that I'll like this one more than the original series because I wasn't a huge fan. This isn't technically a book but I feel like I need to mention it. I'm taking intro to mass comm this semester because I have mass comm as my minor and we were talking about print media and just every single day discussing it made me miss reading magazines. So I got a subscription to Seventeen magazine. <laughs> this magazine just has a ton of girl power in it and everyone is super awesome and just on the cover right here it says meet the new trans generation so this has a story about a trans girl I believe. Now that I'm actually reading magazines instead of looking at the pictures it's pretty interesting. Okay it's kind of ridiculous you can get a subscription to Seventeen for like $12. Whereas one of these at the newsstand would cost like six or five. Just letting you know, right now magazine subscriptions are so cheap. Please go and get one because they're awesome and ridiculously discounted. So the next book I have is technically not even a book, but anyway, this is a coloring book. This was sent to me by Colorworth Publishing. It is a ginormous coloring book and I have never had an adult coloring book before so when I got this email ma'am I was stoked. So this one has a ton of as you can tell landscapes so I'll just give you a little sneak preview. Here's some of this. Like these are just done so nicely and I think they're really pretty. Some of them are more complicated like these and some of them are really simple like this. I can't wait to break this one open. Well, I have broken it open, but I can't wait to start coloring it. It just seems so nice. The quality is really nice too. I will probably update you all when I start coloring this because let's be real, coloring is awesome. And now I have this box. Oh my God. So you may or may not know, I am now a book outlet vlogger. They are entirely too kind to me because they were like, here's a hundred dollars gift card. And you know, for the first week I had self-control and I told myself I'd save it. And then this happened. So thank you book outlet 
for fostering my bad book buying habits. Before we get into this, let me just mention Book Outlet this year is having their huge Black Friday sale once again. Starting on November 18th to November 24th, which is right now, you can go onto Book Outlet's website and fill out your name and email and receive $5 for some Book Outlet Black Friday bucks, which you can use on anything starting November 26th, which is when the huge Book Outlet 30% off sale goes live. Last year the sale was crazy. This year I anticipate it's going to be just as awesome. You can buy a lot of great things, a lot of great deals. I highly recommend you go and check it out right now. That sale will be until December 1st. Christmas is coming. This is going to be fantastic. Or if you just want to add some new things to your collection like I'm about to do, let's get started. You know, I'm really proud of myself that I was able to save this for opening on camera. It was hard for the first 72 hours, but when we got past that, it was A-OK. -okay. Let's, I hope you can see this flap because I'm not able to hold it up. Oh my god. This ish is overflowing. There are so many things. Oh my gosh, let's just grab and go. The first book that I see is Humans of New York. This is some plastic wrap. Let's get that off. That's so fancy. Ooh. So if you don't know about Humans of New York, it is like a social media feed that started on Instagram, I think. It's a group that takes pictures of random New Yorkers off the street and if they put a quote underneath about that person or a prompt question. This is just a book filled with people and their little quotes. This is going to be really interesting to look through. I like photography books like this, but they're usually expensive, sadly. Ransom Riggs has a book like this called Talking Pictures, and I loved it. So stuff like this is really interesting to me. Plus, I really love this Instagram page. You should totally go check them out, and I will let you all know if this is an interesting book. The next thing that I see grabbing off the top is The Yellow Birds by Kevin Powers. This book is recommended to me on Amazon all the time. This has so many great reviews. It's about the war in Iraq. It's pretty short, surprisingly. I just hope it's going to be powerful and I'm really digging more mature topics like this. I don't think I've read anything about modern war in Iraq or really anything dealing with war. I'm not sure if this is fiction or nonfiction. I assume it's fiction. I'm super excited to try it out. This next book I bought as a Christmas present for my friend, so I hope she's not watching. If she is, Dory do not look. I saw this and immediately knew I was getting it for her. This is Knit Your Own Boyfriend. <laughs> That's so funny. This is literally just a book of knitting patterns for creating your own man doll and I want to do this. Oh my gosh, it's literally Edward Cullen. This is so, like I'm already glancing through this and I love it. She's gonna love this. So this is adorable. They have a ton of crafting books on Book Outlet, which I did not know. Next book. I'm sorry, I'm really confused because I picked up the book like this and the pages were on this side that I realized the book is supposed to be like this. Alrighty. This book is 100 Sideways Miles by Andrew Smith. I've read pretty much everything by Andrew Smith, meaning I've only read two of his books, but I consider that to be almost everything. This book is his most recent and I don't know what it's about. Andrew Smith writes really, I don't want to say vulgar, but he's very interesting in how he writes things. It's all very crude but very real and funny and I like his writing despite it being that way. I have generally enjoyed everything I've read by him. I haven't heard a lot of reviews about this so I'm hoping to go into this sort of blindly and see how I like it. Next book I see is Noggin by John Corey Whaley. I went to a book signing where he was promoting this book and I just remember I always have been interested in it but I never had the urge to go and buy it like immediately. The main character of this book gets a terminal disease so he decides to remove his head, freeze it, and then in the future they put his head on a new body and then unfreeze him and he can continue to exist because his brain is just in a different body. It seems very sci-fi but it's like contemporary so I think that's gonna be a very interesting mix. This book in general just seems really new and unique and I think it's gonna be pretty funny. I think this has LGBT aspects in it, but I'm not completely sure, so don't quote me on that, but I'm excited to try this one out. It just seems very peculiar. The next book I have is Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire. This is a book that I told myself I probably would never read just because it's new adult, but I think it's the type of new adult that I'm not really 
into. It's about a college girl who meets a guy, but I think it's like a problematic guy, yeah, covered in tattoos, and he's the bad boy, and she's a good girl. I'm starting to read more New Adult. This is one of the most raved about New Adult series, so I thought, even if I don't like it, it was cheap on Book Outlet. I'm gonna try it out. And you know, every now and then you just want some of that cheesy light New Adult, so even if I don't like this, it's probably gonna fly by and just be something fun to read, you know? This next book is the reason that I clicked the purchase books button, because I saw this and knew it was gonna go out of stock and I've been looking for it forever and I want it and now I have it. This is A Little Something Different by Sandy Hall, a book that I tried for months to get a hold of for review but just never ended up with it and now here it is. This is an extremely cool story. It's about a boy and a girl who develop a relationship and this book is told from 14 perspectives of just random people in their lives. That just seems so cool like you get to see someone else from all these different perspectives and you get everyone's voices and apparently like one of the perspectives and this is like a squirrel or something that could be wrong but I think that's what I heard. This book just feels nice. It looks nice. I think it's beautiful. I want to read this very soon because I've been really excited about it for a while. This next book is The One and Only Ivan by Catherine Applegate. This is a middle grade book about a gorilla in a zoo named Ivan. Never mind, not a zoo, a shopping mall. I obviously know a lot about this book. I just know this is apparently really good and for a middle grade book it's sad but powerful. I've no idea what else it's about. I just knew I've wanted to read this ever since I heard people talk about this when it first came out and I think it's won, yeah, like a ton of awards and it seems really nice and I'm just a sucker for good animal stories so I think I'm gonna enjoy this even if it's sad. The next book I have is Ten Tiny Breaths by K.A. Tucker, another new adult book. I hope, because that's why I bought it. Again, I just think it's about a girl and a guy. They're each facing their own struggles and having hardships, and then they come together and things happen. I see this series around all the time. Cora Carmack blurbed this and I read Cora Carmack's book, which was pretty good. So I may or may not enjoy this. We shall find out. But again, it's new adult. If anything, I can just read it because it's light and fluffy and, well, I mean, maybe this isn't because it has darker themes, but I might enjoy it. This next book. This is also a reason why I placed this order. I've been dying to read this book. This is The Last Time We Say Goodbye by Cynthia Hand. This book's about a girl whose brother kills himself, and so this book deals a lot with mental illness and coping with loss of family members. It really revolves around the main character dealing with ghosts from her past. I've heard this book is phenomenal. I've been reading a ton of mediocre mental illness books lately, so hopefully this is gonna break that and be really good. I love this cover. I love the concept. The next book that I got is Before I Go by Colleen Oakley which is a very freaky name because Colleen Evans versus Tyler Oakley, I, my mind is going places. This book sounds so interesting. This book is so cool. It's about, well, not cool, it's pretty sad, but it's about this woman who discovers that she's going to die of cancer, it's terminal, and so what she does before she dies is she's trying to find her husband a new girlfriend slash wife. I'm not sure if I should say this synopsis sounds sad or hilarious, but I guess it's a mixture of both, but either way, I want to read it really badly. It sounds awesome. I saw a ton of good Amazon reviews about this. The reason why I know about this book is because I found it off Amazon and everyone was saying great things about it there. Not a lot of people speak about this on booktube, or not that I've seen. The next book that I have is The Edge of Never by J.A. Redmersky. This book is huge. Wow was not expecting that. Once again, we have another angsty new adult book. This one is about a girl who runs away and meets a boy. That's literally about it. Alrighty, moving onward. I think we already know how I feel about new adults, so I'm just gonna put that one down. And I've heard a lot of reviews on this one, both positive and negative, so it's gonna be interesting to see how I like it. I'm getting down to the bottom of the box, finally. You know what, let's just move this box. Oh, goodbye. This next book I have is probably the reason why that box was a million pounds, because this is a huge book. This is Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld. I didn't really like Scott Westerfeld's Uglies series, but this book sounds really interesting. It's about a girl who is writing a novel. This book takes place in dual perspective between the book and her real life, so I think that sounds really new and interesting. This book is large and heavy, but very pretty. This deals a lot with publishing in New York, which is what I want to do, so I think it's going to be really interesting. The next book I have is In the Body of the World by Eve Ensler. If you don't recognize the name Eve Ensler, it's the same woman that wrote the Vagina Monologues, which I read a couple of months ago and loved. She's really big on feminism and standing up for all women, and this book is more of a memoir. It follows her and her uterine cancer, and it also documents a little bit of when she was in Africa witnessing all the domestic violence and things that happened there. But I hear this book is just so 
unfiltered and real and I can't wait to read more of her things because I adore her. If you're into feminist literature and you haven't read the vagina monologues, I highly recommend it. The next book I have is one that I debated buying because I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it, but it was like and this is The Bone Season by Samana Samana? <laughs> Samantha Shannon. Supposedly the world is really intricate and new and interesting and it follows really interesting people and the year is 2059, Criminal Underworld in London. I've heard some pretty meh reviews about this and I've heard some really rockin' reviews over this. So once again I was skeptical if I would like it, but it was really cheap. I'm really into worlds that are really well developed because I don't read a lot of books that have that since I mostly read YA. No offense, YA, but... So if anything, I'm just looking forward to delving into a new and well-written world, even if it's one that I'm not completely sure what it's about. And the last book that I have is A Tale for the Time Being by Ruth Ozeki. This is about a girl in Japan who writes a letter or a story or writes something down and ends up releasing it into the ocean, and a girl in the Pacific Northwest finds that and reads it. It's about the 2011 Japanese tsunami. I might be butchering that synopsis, but I've heard other people talk about this and say really good things about it. This is a 2013 man book finalist and so I think that speaks volumes. It sounds interesting. I've heard a lot of people give this great reviews. I haven't read a lot of adult- I know this is about 16 year olds but I think it's adult fiction and I don't read a lot of that and I'm trying to pick up some of the ones that have been more popular recently and this is one that's been talked about a lot. I hope it's gonna be written beautifully. I hope I'm gonna like it. So thank you all so much for watching this haul. I know I went a bit crazy but you know tis the season. I'm so happy that you decided to stop in and check out this video. Hopefully I'll see you in the future. Let me know if you've read any of these books and until next time, I don't know what that was. Goodbye friends.